Let's go next to the Air Force here, and this has one of my favorite Mavericks in this game, or Rebel Force, Droids, whatever you want to call him. This is Storm Owl. He left with a space fortress to conquer the air. Look at that guy. He's a fucking owl with a beret and an arm cannon. He's pretty cool. Although, Storm, come on. You couldn't you get a more original name? Like, Storm Eagle already existed in Mega Man X1. You couldn't do, like, Space Owl or General Owl or something like that. <laughs> General Owl, though, just sounds like... He's a general owl, you know, nothing special. But I mean, come on, he's an owl, and owls are cool. Uh, we also get ride armor in this stage, like we had in Magma Dragoons, only this one is a shooty bang bang kind of ride armor, I guess. Also can fly for a little bit, which means we can just um, ignore a lot of the stage, I guess. Oh, parts right here. We gotta get that before that giant ass laser just destroys the entire <laughs> ship you picked that up off of, otherwise you can't get it. So that's kind of a timed one, you gotta be ready for that guy. Ooh, let's go. The right armor is hurting. I can feel it. Oh, yep, there it goes. This is a pretty fun stage, though. I love the background. It's super cool how we're in this sky base. And again, it's very similar to Storm Eagle, actually. But I like Storm Eagle's concept, and, and so I like this concept, too. I actually like this stage more than Storm Eagle. It feels more epic and exciting. It doesn't have that weird, annoying-ass platforming you've got at the beginning of Storm Eagle stage that I'm really not a fan of. Oh, God! <laughs> I was not quick enough to make it past that guy in time. Look at how quickly you reload, though. I gotta appreciate it. I don't know if that's because I'm playing in the Legacy Collection, or if that was actually the case in the PlayStation original. I didn't play this game back in the day, so I don't know. There we go, got past it in time. Just go, Zero, just go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, until we get to this ship, we gotta get out of the way. Let's go. Alright, that's Act 1 done. Here we are at Act 2. Look at this stuff, it's so epic. I love the music in this stage in particular. This is, I mentioned there weren't as many good music tracks here as there were in, like, X1 and X2. Um, but this is one of my favorites. This one stands out to me for some reason. There we go. Whew. I believe there's a secret up there, but I don't remember how to get it. And, um, we're just gonna ignore it. It's fine. We got a mini boss here where we just annihilate their health bar. Like, Jesus, look at us laying into them. Get out of here, you. Come up on health. And over here, we've got the boss. It's Storm Owl time. Okay, get a load of this guy. Look at this man. Ugh, the most powerful salute known to man. Why do you judge us as mavericks? Wait, stop the coup. No, we're justified in doing this. All right. Well, he feels that way, but he's got to go. Oh, God. All right. He's picking us up there. Oh, God. Yeah. Let go, asshole. So we've got to use our new ability we got, which... Oh, no, it's not that one. Hold on. It's the, uh, the giga button. Bam. That stuns him in his place and stops him from doing his next attack. If we can actually hit him pretty close to us, because it's this, this multi-shooting multi, multi -shooting attack, we can actually get a few of these projectiles to hit him, which is pretty effective. So come close to us, Storm Owl. Come, come close to us. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God, Zero, it's not looking good. Wow. Oh, yeah, he cornered us there. Okay, let's try it again. I gotta use this attack more, because the interesting thing about this attack is it fills up as we take damage. So if we do it right out the gate, just blow our load using this attack a bunch, we get more of it. And we do have our weapon tank as well if we need. But god, that salute is so powerful. You gotta love it. Bam! Alright, you see how much damage that did? Beautiful. Get real close. Yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> taking out like half his health now. Ugh. Alright, we almost got him. Almost got him. Bam! Let's go. Let's throw him out of here. All right, fifth Reploid taken care of. Good job, Zero. What ability does he get us? Tenkuha. Enhanced Z-Saber. You can cut enemy energy shots with your saber. That's right, so we get a stronger Z-Saber now, which is useful for sure. Um, not the most memorable of abilities, though, to be honest. Let's now go here to the Bio Laboratory, where we have Split Mushroom. Okay. He occupies the laboratory and will attack whoever visits there. This is in no way rebellion, like the general said in that cutscene, right? Then again, what was going on in that scene where Zero fought with the Colonel? Like, uh, the Colonel just showed up there, he had his weapons down, seems like he was just going to talk with Zero about things. And Zero comes up and jump attacks him, and the Colonel says, What do you think you're doing? In this fast manner, which is pretty funny. I don't know. Story in this game, it's, it's something alright. Yeah, split mushroom stage is pretty tough here. Ooh, I'll take an extra life. Uh, having the Shoryuken is very good here, because we're going to have a lot of foes coming from above us. It's just the way the stage is designed. Alright, coming along this way, we've got a mini-boss to fight. This mini-boss is pretty tough, actually, because they're going to be slowly destroying platforms along the way. 
and we have to kill them before they can destroy all the platforms. They're a lot easier to fight with X when you have time to charge your shot and everything and maximize your damage, but here with Zero, you just really gotta lay into them. You gotta make sure the platforms you destroy are carefully placed. Come over here, you. Come over here. There we go. Okay, we're like close on damage. We're gonna need some ground left by the end of this. Okay, destroy this platform next. There we go. Like, a couple platforms left. That's not an easy fight. I, I maximized damage pretty well there. Here we are in area two. We've got another staircase to go up. This spiral staircase effect they do is pretty cool here. Again, the graphics in this game are fantastic. All right, teleport to the next area. This part's gonna be pretty tricky, so I gotta, gotta get ready here. These guys are gonna destroy this platform, and then we gotta use this platform to get up and get the heart. There we go. There is another upgrade we get later on that's kind of how you're intended to get that heart, more so. Um, but I decided to do it the tricky way, I guess. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> Alright, yeah, and then slowing down in this part really sets you up at a disadvantage. If we just go fast, it's actually not too bad here. And now that we got the heart, I don't mind going too fast. We can just speed past all that. Otherwise, we got a classic elevator sequence here. Alright. Sure you can- oh god. How <laughs> many times we hit that spike? Oh, okay. Maybe it's just better to do a standard jump attack on these guys then. <laughs> so we're gonna watch out for those spikes they leave behind, even after you take them out. Slide under here, and slide under here. Okay, I think that's the end of this elevator sequence. Ooh, they give us some health. Thanks. Still haven't done much in the way of filling out my, my energy tank. We got ourselves the boss here, Split Mushroom. What does this guy got to say for himself? He's just a mushroom. You made it this far. I'm impressed. You interested in a real challenge? Who's your commanding officer? Never mind that. It's time to fight. All right, guy. He's gonna go over there and create a bunch of mirage clones of swords that he's gonna start throwing at us here. We gotta look out for those. Oh god. Blah. The main part of the fight is when he makes a clone of himself that follows him around here. And we gotta use the electric zap we got off of Web Spider because it's super powerful against this guy. Stop some dead in his tracks as well as his clone. I guess it's just like something to do with the way it's powered, I guess. I don't know. Zap. Here we go. Turn around, Zero. I know you're going this way. Oh, God. I knew he was going that way, but I didn't get him. He almost got me there, but we, we, we took care of business. We got Split Mushroom out of here. What ability do we get for beating him again? I don't remember. <laughs> Kuen Boo. What is that? Uh, with the correct timing, higher and further jumps are possible while they're airborne. Maybe activated while attacking in the air. Oh, that's right. So we get a... Um, an air dash and a double jump, I think? Or wait, what? Hold on, let me test it out, and I'm gonna go back to Magma Dragoon stage so we can get some of the stuff here we missed. Uh, I believe this is now we have a double jump and an air dash, right? Yep, double jump, and... Oh, we don't have an air dash, but we do have this circle attack. We'll get an air dash later, don't you worry about it. But I'm gonna revisit some old stages here to get some power up, so... Don't mind me as I cut along here and fill up some energy tanks along the way. That's always good. For Magma Dragoon's heart tank, we actually got to go to Act 2 here. And it's not too far into Act 2. It's just after the fire here, I believe, that we got to gotta get the heart tank. Get that health there. Get this guy out of here. Uh, yeah, so in this area where the fire is falling down, we got to use that double jump we just obtained to get ourselves that heart tank. And I'm just going to escape all these stages after we get what we're coming for. Next up, we gotta go back to Frost Warus's stage here. We got two things we can do. First off, towards the start of the stage here, we have the heart tank just up there. We gotta use the fire shore you to get it. I mean, we could have done that earlier on, but that's nice. And then now, actually, having the double jump in this area makes this way easier to get past this whole ice puzzle thing. You can just skip a lot of it. It feels so fulfilling to unlock all of Zero's moveset. It, it, honestly, more fulfilling than just getting some weapons you never use, ever felt with X. And then here we have a second kind of upgrade. What the hell is this thing again? It's like a special tank. What does that do again? I don't remember. Well, we got it, so let's just get out of here now. <laughs> I think that was all the upgrades I was missing in the previous stages. So let's head now to the one I've been dreading and avoiding. Jet Stingray at the Marine Base. I don't like this stage. It's tough. I think it's because I'm playing in the Legacy Collection that there's a bit of input delay. Either way, it's pretty tough. Jet Stingray, he destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. These guys are terrorists. What are they trying to, what, what are they doing? All right, this is a jet bike stage where we've got this jet bike we're riding on here. It's an auto scroller. You gotta shoot things in your way and you can use the dash to burst through obstacles if you're good enough with it, but you don't wanna 
fall into pits, obviously. I, it's not easy. I'm not a fan of this. Oh god. Oh, I missed the heart already. Just, uh, just kill me. Yeah. We gotta drop down on that pit. Okay. I don't like mashing the button to shoot for this, and I don't feel confident dashing forward because you never know when a pit's gonna suddenly appear, and then, whoops, I'm falling into it, or when a wall's gonna appear, and whoops, I'm, I'm crashing into it now, and I'm instantly dead. What I don't like about this stage also is that it doesn't matter how many heart tanks or whatever you get up to this point, it's a matter of whether you get killed by the instant kill stuff or not, right? And I jumped again when I needed to drop. Oh my god. Ah, uh, let's try it again. There's a second act to this too, by the way, it doesn't get easier. We jump there, now we just drop on this next pit, right? No, 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 not that pit, this pit. We gotta drop. There we go, okay. Got the heart upgrade. I'm gonna burst through all these walls. And go over here, go jump. Go over, jump, oh god, uh, uh. See, how am I supposed to know what's coming? It's, oh. I'm, I'm being salty, I'm complaining. I just don't like Jet Stingray stage, what can I say? I'm not a fan, it's too reactionary. And I'm, this is coming from someone who loves Geometry Dash and was able to do a marathon where I beat all the levels on stream. All the main courses except the demon stuff, of course. It's just, oh man, something about this. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't, I don't like the control scheme. I don't like how it sets you up for failure in so many places. But you gotta be ready. Come on. Uh, am I fucked? Oh god, I... Lucky to be alive right now. Keep going, Zero. All right, we made it. And we're on to Act 2 here, where there is an energy tank we gotta go after. Oh, you know what that thing we got was? We now start with four lives instead of two. At least I think that was it. Maybe? I don't remember. Also, that's Jet Stingray there. He's actually an obstacle in the stages. Although I like ramming into him so that he just doesn't do anything. I know there's an energy tank here. We gotta go up to reach it. Okay, first of all, Jet Stingray. Get out of here, you. I'm not trying to deal with you. We gotta go up here. Oh, shit! No, that wasn't it. It's like you make one mistake and then you're dead. Go back. I get having that kind of design, sparingly, but the entire stage feels like that. For me, it's just not a good time. It's exciting, I get it. I, I understand if you like this kind of stage. And maybe it is the Legacy Collections control scheme that just kind of messes it up, but... It's just not for me, I guess. Alright, shooting through there. We gotta stay up here. And then burst through, we got that energy tank. And we're fucking dead, all right. Well, we got what we needed, now we just gotta get to the end of this whole section. That was the end of the section, if we made that jump there, we were kinda stuck. That's not the only thing I dislike about Jet Stingray, by the way, because Jet Stingray's fight may be the hardest of all the Mavericks in this game, or, or, or Repliforce. I'll show you why I think so once we get there, obviously. We gotta beat this goddamn stage first. Go down, shoot through, oh god, shoot through, jump over. All right, we made it. And they give us health here at the end, which is nice of them, I'll admit. And now we gotta fight Jet Stingray, and he is not easy. Jet Stingray's fight, it's half in water, and he always stays just out of reach in this fight. For most of it, anyway, I should say. Ah, uh, he's still after me! Enough already! We settle this now. Alright, asshole, let's go. So we can reach him there. We can reach him there, but he swoops down really quick on us, so you gotta be ready for him. His weakness is... The ice at down attack, which it's hard to get him when he's above us with a downward attack, you know. We tended to use it like that, but even then you like land on him and take damage. Look at how much damage I've taken versus him. He's also spawning these stingrays, which you gotta look out for. The same time you're doing this. Oh god! Well, maybe I can use the double jump. Aha! That kind of worked out there. Also, in the second phase, he's gonna come down here to try to do this turbine attack, which is actually pretty simple, because then he's on a level, and he's a lot easier to hit with this thing. Still a tough fight. Oh god, and yeah, and he's so fast with that dive attack, which does so much goddamn damage. Shit, oh, we took too much damage there. Alright, let's try him again. It's, it, this checkpoint is right here, luckily. But if we get a game over on him, we gotta redo that whole uh, uh, jet ski sequence. At least the second part of it. It's still pretty tough. Alright, being able to do the double jump and then this thing on him is pivotal. That really helps out. If you try to do this fight without his weakness and without the double jump, it's ridiculous. Maybe it's easier as X, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it regardless. I suppose as X, yeah, you could just hug the other wall and then shoot away over here like this. But obviously with our Z Saber, we can't do that. Here we are. We can do this. We almost got him. Oh god, it's so fast. If he just does that a couple more times, we're fucked. There we go. Whew. Not an easy fight, Justin Ray. I'm not a fan. We got him. 
We got them. And we got the last of the sub tank, energy tank kind of menu items of sorts. He gets us his ability here, which is the Hien Kekko. It really sounds like something out of Street Fighter, doesn't it? Dash button while jumping, maybe execute in the air. So it's a, a jump dash. Unfortunately, because things like the double jump or the, the air dash are purely, you know, maneuverability based, they're, they're not actually attacks. Some of these robot masters don't really have proper weaknesses, and that's why the order kind of, is kind of muddled with zero. It doesn't really matter the order you do most of the time. Most of the time, the only things that really matter for order is Cyber Peacock is weak to the flame uppercut, and of course Jet Stingray is weak to the ice thing, and, and uh, Split Mushroom is weak to the electric thing. But besides that, there's not much else to take into account. But now we got the final Maverick here, the final Reploid slash Beast. In the military base. He defends the military train to protect the supply of goods. Alright, well we got this stage here on a train. Kind of like Mega Man 5-esque, isn't it? If y'all remember my Let's Play doing Mega Man 5. Kind of feels... Man, like we've been on such a journey with Mega Man. If y'all don't remember my old Mega Man Let's Plays, I... I'm not exactly the most well-versed with the classic Mega Man games. Not even with X. At least especially back when I started this channel, I was not. But I decided for whatever reason to kind of fill out some games on the channel to play some NES stuff, because I love NES stuff, that I would play all of the Mega Man games. So I did Mega Man 1 through 4 all in a row, and then eventually I got around to doing Mega Man 5 and 6, and then we got around to the X series, and we did X1, 2, 3. Now here we are with X4, you know, five years later on the channel. It's been a hell of a journey. We played more Mega Man games than I feel like we played any other game of any other franchise on this channel. And it is crazy to think that half of them were done like all in a row there. You know, it was a good time and it's it's been a good time all the way through. I still love the Mega Man franchise and everything it does for Capcom, every way it evolves through gaming. There we go, got that mini boss dealt with here. Let's go Zero. I feel like that mini boss is a lot easier with X when you can just shoot it from a distance. We're now into Act 2 here. We're still on a train. We also gotta be sure to get the stage's heart tank. That is the last upgrade of the game. We want to be sure to get that. Last upgrade of the game because we're playing with Zero. Obviously, if you're playing with X, there's the different light capsules you got to be sure to get here and there. Some of them are pretty easy. Some of them are harder than others. Obviously, you want to get all of them for all of X's cool upgrades. And, oh, wait a minute. I actually don't want to destroy one of these trains that we're about to come up on. This one here. We don't want to destroy it so we can get that heart tank there. Because all these trains you can destroy with the right armor, which is pretty cool that you can even do that. But we don't want to destroy that second one, otherwise we'll miss out on that heart tank there. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works, I'm not certain. I'm always just precarious in making sure I get it there. Oh, looks like the right armor can't continue on there. I'm gonna go on foot. And this train's being brought to a halt. Alright then. Get that health refill here. And then we're getting on the you know, second train, I guess. Did we detach them at some point? What happened here? No, no, that definitely was the front of that other train, it's just a second train, sure. Because this is the train where the boss is at. Here we are. And oh, hold on. I love this little animation here. The boxes fill up. And look at this man coming to get us. Look at him run. This is a slash beast. You dared to attack my unit? I'm gonna enjoy fighting you. Alright, we gotta fight slash beast now. All it really does in the first half of the fight is just kind of jump around and stomp. For a guy named slash beast, he doesn't do a lot of slashing with those claws of his until the second phase here. And he goes back and forth and slams into the wall. Oh, he's got that kick attack we got to look out for. Oh god. Alright, we're hurting. We're hurting pretty bad. Got for that dive of his. He's going back and forth. Got for the dive. Slice. Slice! We got him. Oh, okay. He was about to do a big attack on us, but we got him. And that's all the Replifors dealt with. We've done all eight stages. We got all the upgrades along the way, too. Of course, it's not over yet. There's always more with these games, isn't there? We learned Shipuga. You can do this attack while dashing. You can execute a powerful dash blade attack. Approach your enemy with Shipuga and perform a combo. I'm actually not crazy about this attack. I don't love it. Mainly because we've already learned the stationary version of our special attack. So if we accidentally activate the dash just too late, instead we just stand there and do the slow electric attack like the one we did in Split Mushroom. Not a fan of this attack. Either way, carrying on. Iris is still here and saying, Repla Force is at the Space Harbor. I have to go. No, please wait, Zero. I don't want to see you two fight. Someone has to stop your brother. I'm leaving. Alright, and so we're going to the spaceport here. We're just not even listening to our own girlfriend. Kind of insensitive, Zero, don't you think? Yeah, we got the final bulk of stages, of course. Classic Mega Man stuff here. 
Even though we're not playing as Mega Man or Mega Man X. Boom, look at that. We even got the guy up there by accident. Oh yeah, I suppose I'll show off the, the dashing ability. It's like, oh, t see, the, right there. I accidentally didn't activate it because I hit dash just a little bit too late. But it's that little slash right there. It's okay. <laughs> of all of Zero's abilities, it's not one of the better ones. Which, I mean, granted, not all of them are amazing. But either way, we'll go through the boss door here. To face off against our old ally, the Colonel. Here he is. I don't want to fight. Step back. I'm sorry. I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she loses you. Don't be so presumptuous, Zero. Save until after you defeated me. Show me what you've got. All right. And now we've got to fight with the Colonel himself. He's doing these blade beams here. Ow. It's a classic sword fight. You gotta love it. Oh, God. <laughs> the way he announces Energy Breaker there is just like a, a classic fighting game, but I suppose this is Capcom. When he teleports there, he's going to try and slash you by coming out of it. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was not ready. I was just standing there like, what's going to happen next? Alright, that's okay. You know what? I didn't even use my, my, my Giga attack either. I'll show you no mercy. Now get ready! He's got a different voice line. Okay, we did a little something with that, I guess. I feel like I could have just slashed him in that instance. Oh, shit. That teleport got me. Oh, he's doing a ground attack. Pretty easy one to dodge, although he only implements it in the second phase. Gotta be ready for that teleport. He's gonna get you. Okay. Shit! Oh, that means we gotta redo the stage. Damn it. We almost had him, too. Alright, hold on. Let me cut to when I get there. Again, I just don't want to use my energy tanks on this fight. It's not the hardest one. I don't know how I died twice on it. I was getting careless. Alright, let's try this again. Here goes. Oh, we scored big hits on him if we get on the other side of his blade beam attack like that. That's good to know. Oh shit, how did I get hit by that attack? I'm getting careless right now. Shit, I got hit by that again? Oh my god, I'm getting real careless. There we go. Okay. Impressive zero, but it's too late. What? Replaforce Force is left for the space. Even if I perish, Replaforce Force lives. Colonel. Zero, tell Iris that her brother died happily. Goodbye, Zero. Colonel! And down the man goes. Alright, let's continue on.